Brennan struck back, by the way, at the president today in a New York Times op-ed stating plainly, Mr. Trump's claims of no collusion are, in a word, hogwash. He writes, the only questions that remain are whether the collusion that took place constituted criminally liable conspiracy or whether obstruction of justice occurred and how many members of Trump Incorporated attempted to fraud the government. What a news night. Joining me right now is Robert Costa, national political reporter for The Washington Post. Glenn Kirshner, a former federal prosecutor. Jennifer Rubin, opinion writer with The Washington Post. And Eugene Robinson, a columnist with The Washington Post. Let me start with Robert. We'll go through the list I just mentioned. The president of the United States is using his ability to yank security clearances from somebody he doesn't like. It also creates a story that he could have created weeks ago but used for a rainy day, this being a rainy day, did it today, it seems to me, obviously, to shift attention to at least, well, a lesser disadvantage he faces in the media wars. Your thoughts? A president at war on all fronts, Chris, talking to White House officials today and Trump's close friends. They say it's not just about Omarosa Manning, Galt Newman. It's about the foreign policy establishment in both political parties. It's only Senator Rand Paul of Kentucky, who just went to Russia, who seems to be on his side. And he's lashing out at anyone who is criticizing him and linking it to the Russia investigation. Glenn, what do you think about this? The president of the United States has executive powers, of course, over a lot of things, including security clearances. His, his, his use of that power today, is it abuse? Um, I would say it's more evidence of both criminal conduct and corrupt intent because, you know, Chris, when we look at the sort of history of what the president has done that's made him look guilty, uh, whether it started with, you know, Russia finding the 30,000 emails, hey, Director Comey, can you lay off Flynn? Um, then he fires Director Comey. Then he tells Lester Holt, uh, I was thinking about the Russia thing when I fired Director Comey. The Trump Tower meeting, the cover-up of the Trump Tower meeting, just the, 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 the giving aid and comfort to Putin in Helsinki, in plain sight, and now yanking the director of the FBI, former director of the FBI's security clearance for just retribution. I got to tell you, Chris, as a career prosecutor, I have handled countless conspiracy and obstruction of justice cases, and I only wish I had evidence like this to support those prosecutions. I didn't. This is, it's really dramatic and it's over the top. Uh, Jennifer, I'm not a lawyer, but I'm a student of Trump. And I've watched him in his wily ways, and he has a number of weapons. One of them is uh, glittering objects. If he sees he's in trouble on one topic, he holds something out here, even if it embarrasses him less than this other thing. Right. And there he is admitting, I think Glenn's right, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's robbery in plain sight. He says, go ahead. Not only did I f take away the guy's security clearance, the former CIA director, I did it because I don't like him on the Russian front because right. he's accused me. But he also gets away from the face of uh, Amorosa, who was killing him in the media. Right. Donald Trump's world is the media. So if he distracts some of us for a day, that's a win. That is not a win in a court of law. He is not obviating this problem. He's deepening it for exactly the reasons that Glenn said. He is on television to a major newspaper, just like he did with Lester Hen, confessing his corrupt intent. Why do you think he does so, it? Why does he do it? Because he just can't because help himself. Because he can't help himself, and he cannot get it through his head that he can't do that as president of the United States. He thinks whatever he wants to do is fine. He's president. He has no conception of the Constitution, no conception of limits on his powers, and he cannot believe that it could possibly be illegal for him to get rid of these people because of that stupid Russia investigation. Can he take a, co a copy of the Constitution to bed with him some night? No, I don't think he can. You're shaking your head. He doesn't read, so <laughs> I mean, he won't read it. Um, you know, look, he, he, the interesting thing is that, to me, this is a clear abuse of power, right? I mean, you could, you could call it that. I don't know if it's illegal or not. The president has wide-ranging powers over security clearances, but you can only call this an abuse of power, um, which was one of the counts of, of the, um, one of the impeachment articles against, that was being drawn up against Richard Nixon. Um, you know, this Congress... This Republican-led Congress will never <laughs> acknowledge that this clear abuse of power took place and that it is what it is. Um, uh, and they will never draw what I see to be a very bright line connecting those two concepts. They'll never do it. They're a bunch of rabbits. <laughs> and they go racing back to their little holes every time Trump is, is questioned. Anyway, in an opinion piece, here's a man of courage. In the Washington Post late today, the retired Admiral, Navy Admiral, who oversaw the raid that killed Osama bin Laden, took the president to task for revoking Brennan's security clearance. Addressing the president directly, Admiral William McGraven, 
writes, quote, if you think for a moment that your McCarthy era tactics will suppress the voices of criticism, you are sadly mistaken. The criticism will continue until you become the leader we prayed you would be. Most incredibly, he writes, I would consider it an honor if you would revoke my security clearance as well so I can add my name to the list of men and women who have spoken up against your presidency. Robert, will even that shame this president? Searing criticism from a high-ranking member of the military, a highly respected uh, man uh, throughout the country, well-known. Uh, but we still have people inside of this administration, like General Kelly, the chief of staff, uh, General Mattis, the Secretary of Defense, who stand by this president. There is a, this is a very military-heavy administration. People from the military in cabinet posts at a rate we haven't seen in most previous administrations. They stand by this president, yet there are others who are speaking out. It'll be interesting to see who follows McRaven, who follows Brennan. Right. You know, I, you and I, Jeffrey, we were talking before the program. I felt like, you know, I'm Spartacus. Yeah. People it's one of those great moments in the movie, that great movie that where the people all stood up and said, I'm him. Right. And they this, all got crucified. Literally, in that case, yes. This is, I think, a moment for choosing. We're talking about the Republicans have made one choice. Everybody else has to make a choice, too. You have to decide, are you going to behave as shamefully as Senator John Kennedy, who was saying, yeah, he was right to take away the, quote, butthead. This is... Uh, the name's Mrs. the same Brennan. guy from Louisiana, right. not right. the real John Kennedy. Exactly, right. yes, yeah. exactly. Um, are you going to be like that? Or are you going to be a mensch? Are you going to stand up for what's right? Are you going to put country before uh, party? And in this case, I have not seen more than a couple Republicans, and not even consistently, mm -hmm. put country before party. No. And that's well, the, the it, sorry it, see, scene we've seen right now. Just imagine how this is being seen out at Langley, for example, in the, in the CIA, the intelligence professionals uh, who, are, who are watching the spectacle of a, of, a, of a president treating a former director in this manner because he criticized him. Um, it's got to have a, just a tremendous effect on, on morale. Well, hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.